Hi. Hi. This thing is starting to look like that super awesome cinema camera that everyone wants. Yes, this is Porky's brand new monitor. This is only 160 bucks. And guess what you can do with this? It has 3D LUTs, audio levels, peaking, zebras, histogram, waveforms, just everything that you basically need. Everything that you have here and more. And it's bigger and it weighs 130 grams. Wow. This has to be the best and most affordable monitor on the market right now. And that's one of the reasons that I didn't get one earlier because they were so expensive and I really wanted to have a lot of features and I wanted to have the option to, to test out and use the uh, 3D LUT system. I didn't really know if a monitor would be something that I would use other than this because I'm now watching myself on the a7 III and it's awesome because I can see the peaking, I can see the audiometer, the histogram, everything. So let's uh, you can, let's take a look at the, the peaking. You can see how, how awesome this peaking is. And uh, let's see if we can focus on this. And if I come closer here, you can see that I turn into a red haired Santa Claus and everything is just red and it's just super convenient to have something like that on a monitor as, as well as the zebras and everything. But anyway, let's take this camera, put on the table and take this camera, film this camera and I'll show you how good this monitor is and what you can do with it. Yeah. Let's do it. Inside the box, you'll find a hard case. This is a hard case made out of plastic. Now let's put this aside and take a look at the remaining accessories in this box. Here you have the user manual and you have the bracket where you mount your monitor here. And you also have the option to mount any other accessories on the side. And once we open up the box, you'll see that we have a sun hood included as well. This is made out of plastic, so we'll see how durable this is and the quality once we put it on the monitor. And once we remove the sun hood, you'll find the monitor. The Porky's P6 is a 5.5 inch monitor. It's super slim and compact and it only weighs 130 grams and it's only 16.5 millimeters thick. This is basically the size of your phone. As you see here, here we have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and this is the Porky's P6 5.5 inch. So this is a bit lighter than the iPhone. And one thing I forgot to mention is that these are 4K HDMI in and out ports. You can also see that on the back of the monitor, 4K HDMI monitor. Now moving over to the monitor itself, I've now placed this on the Sony A7 III. And on the top here, you can see that we have the NP Sony battery. This is the NPF750. This is a copy, which is actually made for the aperture monitors. Moving over to the buttons here, you can see on the right hand side, we have the plus, then we have a menu and minus, exit, power on and off where green will 
indicate that the monitor is on and we have four custom buttons. These four buttons can be customized for your needs in case you want the peaking or if you want the zoom or histogram waveform, whatever you want to have on your screen, you can customize these four buttons for that. We're gonna come back to that later in this video as well. So now let's turn the monitor here so you can take a look at the screen. You can also see here on the top here that I have the audio level showing because that is something that I personally find useful. So here you can also see that as I'm talking, the levels are going up and going down. So as I just click my fingers, you can see that the sound is going up. Now, one thing I want to mention as well is that this is not a touch screen. That is why the uh, monitor is so extremely cheap. It only comes in at $169, which is a killer price for everything that this monitor can do. Now, what I don't like about this is uh, the menu button. As you see here, the menu button is centered in between the plus and minus, which is a really kind of messed up place. Why would they put the menu button here in the middle and not over to the right or left side? For me, that doesn't really make sense at all. I would rather see the menu button on the right side. And this wouldn't really have affected the price because it's uh, just a button with the same function. So rather than having the menu button in the middle, I would love to see it on the right hand side here or at the end. Now, moving over to the menu system here, by tapping on the menu button one time, you can see that you get the main screen here. And the first thing I'm gonna do to make it easier for you guys to see is to go over to system configuration and I'm gonna go down to OSD transparency and that is the transparency of the menu. So now moving into the menu again, the first thing you'll see is guides, video config, system, let's config, function setup, firmware and exit. Now the first thing you wanna do when you get this monitor is to go down to function setup. The function setup is these four buttons and you want to customize these for your likings. And on number one here, I have the audio meters, which you see on the top of the monitor. Number two, I have the focus peaking. Number three, I have histogram. And number four, I have LUT on and off. Because yes, this monitor can have 20 custom LUTs and it also comes with 20 LUTs installed already. So you can use any of those if you want to do that. Now let's get back to the screen here so I can show you the different custom uh, buttons that I've placed on this monitor. Now, if we tap on function number two, you can see that you have the red lines here. Those are the focus peaking points. Moving over to function number three, that is the histogram as you see here in the bottom right corner. This indicates if the subject object or the framing of the video is over or underexposed or exposed properly. Moving over to the fourth one here, this is the LUT. So here you can see that I've applied a Rec 709 LUT. Uh, I believe this is for the S-Log uh, 3 and I have now S-Log 2 and we can turn this off as well. So you can go into the menu button here and you can go down to function setup and you can customize this button to whatever you like. Brightness of the monitor, contrast, chroma, sharpness, tint, and the choice is basically endless. And uh, if we go to, let's see, grids, for example, we can apply grids to one of the buttons, exit, and now press on number four. You will see that I get grids here. So by tapping multiple times on the function four button, which is the grids, the more squares I will put into the screen as well. Now moving down to video configuration. Here is where you want to set the color temperature of your monitor to manual. You can see here that we have 5,600 Kelvin, we have 6,500, 7,500, and all the way up to 9,300. By setting it to manual, the monitor will use the same white balance as you have in your camera. 
Now moving over to LUT configuration. Here you can choose if you want a LUT on and off. I've already binded this to function four, or this is where my LUT configuration will be. And uh, if you go down to stored from USB, these are the LUTs which is already stored on the monitor here. And you can see that you have a, a couple of LUTs here and you can have as many as 20 custom LUTs. And if you want to import your own LUTs, you go over to the USB looks here and you tap on that and that will open up the USB which you have connected to your monitor and you will then be able to import 20 LUTs. So as we tap on the USB looks, you can see that there is no devices connected at this point. So what you do is to connect your USB in here with the LUTs that you want to uh, add to this monitor. I recommend just a simple USB stick with your LUTs on and you import those over to the monitor. And since we're at the bottom here now, you can also see that you have a DC 7224 volts power connection. Now what's really unique about this uh, monitor right here is all the type of uh, different things that you can apply to your monitor. As I mentioned, you have peaking, you also have false color, you have zebras and histogram waveforms is one thing so if that is something that you like to uh, use when you are filming your videos here is the different type of waveforms that you can apply and here we have the luma waveform if we tap on it one more time which we assign to function 4 you see that we have the rgb waveform as well and if we now hold this button in here the function 4 so we get into customization on the waveform. We can go, go down and we can change the brightness of this to 75% blending, or we can take the blending off. And that will give you uh, a really nice look on your RGB waveform as well. So these are just a few settings you can customize on the monitor. The monitor also has a automatic flip function, which means that if you're flipping this the other way, the monitor and the screen will automatically flip with it. And this is something which is really, really awesome. So let's say if you're finished shooting the B-roll for your travel vlog and you're gonna go back to vlogging, instead of uh, kind of reassembling this and placing this the other way, you can easily just turn this over around towards you and it will automatically flip the screen, which is really, really convenient. And I haven't really seen any other cheap uh, monitor which has this type of feature. So it really makes filming yourself and filming cinematic B-rolls or cinematic videos really, really convenient. So there you have the Porky's P6, I, which I believe is the best monitor that money can buy, considering the price of it, $169. 3D LUTs, histogram, peaking, zebras, audio levels. The only thing I didn't really like about this is now that I'm recording, I don't see that I'm recording. So I have to check the screen behind to see if I'm recording, if I press the button correctly, if I press it hard enough. But there might be a setting in there which show you this. Uh, I will dig deeper and uh, and see. But this monitor is something that I will take out with me when I'm filming every single video now because this makes everything so much easier because I can take a photo of the scene which I'm going to film if I'm driving by or whatever, I can take that photo and I can make a LUT for that type of scenery using that photo and I can take that LUT into the monitor and I can actually film the things I'm going to film and I can have the LUT applied so I can see exactly how it is and if I need to lower the shutter, aperture, whatever, you, you name it, I can then control everything because I have the LUT applied so it's not like the color grading is going to be really, really hard. Yeah. So that's my thoughts on the Porky's P6. And that's it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you uh, want to see more videos like this and more LumaFusion tutorials, of course. And I see you in the next video.